little piece of Vietnam in the middle of Germany. These children get good grades and shine in school. Either an A or a B, sometimes a C. These Vietnamese children are turning the established order in Germany upside down. Children of parents who are unskilled workers and hardly speak any German never used to get a good high school diploma. But almost all of these children will go on to college. Little Viet is a Buddhist, but now it's Christmas time. Santa Claus is coming soon. All the little doors will be open on the calendar. That's when Santa Claus comes. A government study done in Brandenburg revealed that three quarters of all Vietnamese children in eastern Germany go on to high school, a record number. Part of the reason for this success is that in eastern Germany, there is a lot more full-time child care than in other parts of the country. Because the parents usually both work long, hard hours, the children are in daycare from the time they're little, so they learn to speak German early on. Not only that, they also get early socialization into the German culture, so to speak. For their parents, it was the exact opposite. They came to then East Germany in the 1980s as so-called contract workers. Within the framework of socialist solidarity, they helped work off Vietnamese debts in East Germany. For the most part, they lived an isolated life. If a woman became pregnant against the rules, she had a choice, abortion or deportation. At the time the Berlin Wall fell, about 90,000 Vietnamese lived in hostels in East Germany. But then they had to leave because the system supporting them had gone broke and couldn't pay the rent any longer. No one wanted the contract workers, neither the newly reunited Germany nor Vietnam. After a lot of diplomatic wrangling, Vietnam finally agreed to take the workers back. Germany paid the travel costs for 80,000 Vietnamese and gave each one 3,000 Deutschmarks as well. The other 10,000 were allowed to stay because they had found new work on their own. And they worked hard, started families, and settled down. Their children are learning Vietnamese too. For that, they go to school on Sunday. Tu An, Viet's sister, works on Saturdays in her parents' shop, and on Sundays she attends Vietnamese classes. Despite the demands of school and work, the children are not allowed to forget their homeland. Sometimes we don't have a lot of freedom, but it's mostly okay. I think it makes sense to study your own language. Their parents believe in the American dream coming true in Germany. Anyone who tries hard enough can be successful. What the children would like seems irrelevant. It's very important for the parents that their children do well in school. They want them to have careers and not end up like they themselves have. They want them to speak good German because they can't speak it themselves. They want the best for their children. Tuan's mother had no opportunity for an education, but it goes without saying that for her children, a good education is the key to success and recognition. If they do well in school, then they might have a better chance for a good job. Or if they'd like, they can go on to university. <laughs> but of course, not all children learn quickly. Bertolt Rochlitz is a tutor. No matter how little money a family has, there's always enough for a tutor. They want the best for their children. And the best is high school and then university. They're already hard workers because their parents put a lot of pressure on them. The Germans aren't such poor students themselves, but they don't have that pressure. When you get just average grades and want to apply for a job, that's not good enough nowadays. And as a foreigner, you have to do even better. We have to show that foreigners can also do a good job. The whole family feels at home in Germany, even if the children are better integrated than their parents. Viet already knows that he's going to high school and then university. 
His sister wants to study math and physics. Some researchers predict a great future for these young, well-educated immigrants. What with two cultures, several languages, drive, and an ability to fit in, these children could make up the elite of the future. Thank you.